Intern Corey posted a question. It's probably Allison who actually asked the question. <laughs> it was. Uh, uh, hey, do you want to just say it? Yeah, so I know what FA and AF stand for, and I hear uh, you guys use it a lot around the gym, but I'm just not really sure the different implications of it. So one is femur acetabulum and then acetabulum femur. But what's the key distinguishing difference between them? Because they're the same pieces, if that makes sense. I'm just confused about the difference between the two and how you treat them. No, wrong. No, I'm just trying to think of an easy way to do this without um, going where I don't want to go. Um, let me get my pelvis. So this is my femur. I don't have a femur on me right now, okay? fits in there, right? If I do that, that's pelvis on femur. Yes? Shake your head so I can see it. Cool. And then that is femur on pelvis. Okay. So does that answer part of the question? Yes. Okay. So what's the other part? How do you treat it and what specific situations are going to affect the pelvic outlet? Could you ask something that doesn't require a two-day course? <laughs> if it were that simple, wow. Um, there, there's, I literally there's, just texted her that. <laughs> yeah. Two-day discussion. Question. I mean, it's, it's a, that's a really <laughs> big, like, how would you treat it? Uh, yeah. I don't know. What are the needs? What, so what's I the context? Like, what are we talking about? In a lot of sets, you talk a lot about like FAIR type exercises. I see a lot of FAIR stuff. So I guess how does that affect the pelvic outlet? Um, okay. So it, it can open it, right? So how's your anatomy, young man? I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Is, is Casey, Casey's not with you guys, right? No. Okay, because he's doing an in-service tomorrow that he doesn't know about. Uh, <laughs> so, pelvis, yes. Bottom of the pelvis. The, the, the uh, muscles that adduct your hips, right? Attach right here, okay? And so, if I bring my knees together, it will do that, right? Kind of makes sense if I'm squeezing it together. But if I leverage them, so if I put something between my knees and then squeeze together where the knees can't move, the adductors still turn on, and so it'll do that. It'll pull them open. Does that make sense? So that would be the most important thing that, based on your question that, that you wanted answered. That's what that will tell you. Okay. That definitely helps. Okay. But yeah, if I just squeeze my knees together, you close it, you, you, you make it narrower, right? But if I leverage it apart by putting something between the knees, it opens. Let's leave it at that for now. Is that fair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. That's a, a really good tie-in with the previous distinctions between the, the extension pattern that comes from above versus comes from within. That's, that's a good way to address the comes from within stuff.